Samurai Shampoo. One of the best soundtracks I've ever heard. It's beautiful. I love it. I had to tap it instantly and I really like what I came up with. It's close to the version played by Musical Milo, which is awesome by the way. But sadly there isn't a tutorial yet. So uh, I'm happy to pronounce that I'm the first one who's doing a tutorial on this for ukulele. It's not the whole song, it's just the part that you've just heard. It's the beginning, I couldn't figure out the rest yet, but I will definitely do it in the future. But for now, uh, I want to share this with you guys, so let's jump right in. There's a chord progression where I honestly can't really uh, figure out um, what the names of the chords are by 100%. So pardon me if um, the chord names aren't right, but I'm definitely gonna um, explain to you how to play it. And yeah, I play it on my loop station. Um, just in the version before, it's the uh, RC1 by Boss and um, yeah, it's fairly simple, I just use it to explain it better and to get the full sound. So, for the chords, um, we're gonna play this. coming in it's just a um, yeah, gorgeous piece to play on the uke and yeah the first chord I believe um, is a kind of B minor B minor 7 and as you know B minor we're gonna bar the second fret and put the ring finger on the fourth fret of the G string and we're just gonna strum it once really softly with the thumb and right after strumming and um, we're gonna hammer on with the pinky on the fourth fret of the A string so like this all right. Then we instantly have a quick um, change. I believe this is still a different version of B minor, but uh, we're gonna play this. All right. So the second chord looks like this: open five, six, seven. So really slowly. You just drum that once as well with the thumb and then we're going to pluck the C string on the same position and then we're going to do a D shape so we're going to bar the lower three strings on the fourth fret so we're going to play um, we don't play the A string here we just play um, E string fourth fret C string fourth fret 
and G string fourth fret. So and then we're gonna bar the whole fourth fret and play on the A string. Alright, so slowly. Four, five, four. And then use your middle and pinky finger to play uh, five, seven on the E string. Then we're going to go to the next chord, which is kind of a version of um, C sharp minor, I believe. After you pluck the seventh fret of the E string, you're going to go into this shape, which is just barring the fourth fret and putting your ring finger onto the sixth fret of the G string. And I hope you guys by now have tried out a low G string, which sounds like this. It's just an octave lower. I use it all the time, so most of my tutorials um, are for that kind of sound. You can still play it on a high G, but I'm pretty sure this sounds heaps better with a low G, because you get this little bass line. And what I play is I plug the bass line, or the G you want. And I do two stopped um, upstrokes with the skin part with the, um, to play it really softly, so like this. And then I plug the bass string two times. Alright, so we have this. And then we switch the chord. To a regular C, um, but we're not gonna play the open version, we're gonna play this one. We're just gonna put our pointer finger on the first two strings on the third fret, middle finger on the fourth fret and C string, and ring finger on the fifth fret G string. So we go from here. So we're gonna play this bass line once more and then slide down one fret. And then we're gonna strum up the um, C shape two times. So here we just do the bass, one more time G string, and then let it let the chord ring. And then start it over. Just jump right in. I'm just gonna play these quite slowly and you can follow along with the tabs. Um, I like to do them, um, but it's not that easy to get the perfect sound. 
Um, even for me it's still tricky to get to the right pitch, but I'm definitely going to keep on trying. And what I mean is uh, mostly I think it's on the C string, the fourth fret. When we first get to this part, then we have medium bend, which goes up a little, but not too much. And then we have a strong bend, which kind of um, should be this note. You could also play it like a slide, but I like to bend it up to this note. So. And instead you could do. This is definitely easier and cleaner, but I like to do the bend. Do it however you like it. Also, there's one little riff which you can add. It's already involved in the um, in the chords which I showed you. But if you play the chords, you can play it over there. It sounds like this. <laughs> 